We've always known those foreigners have been a bit strange and all this just confirms it. Truck racing has boomed on the continent, where there are big manufacturers with big products to promote. The sport is starting to gather pace over here, but has proven a lot more popular in Germany, where race stadiums are seeing up to a quarter of a million fans checking in through the turnstiles. Although this meeting at Donington wasn't a sellout, it did attract a fair crowd. Turbocharged 12 litre engines will take a truck from 0 to 100 in under 10 seconds. That's quicker than a Porsche 911 Turbo. At these sort of events, it's amazing who you bump into, like Formula One driver Slim Borgood. You're carrying around a lot of weight, so uh, you got to. Uh, you can't be quite as aggressive as you do in a saloon car or in a Formula car. It's a balance between aggressiveness and smoothness, and you need to have the momentum, keep the momentum going, or the weight sort of all the time. I think that's one of the key things for truck driving. The regulation states that we have to be actually to be able to fit a trailer uh, to the to the fifth wheel, and uh, I, I don't know how well we would tow it, but <laughs> it would fit on. I think the whole idea is to try to make the concept that uh, look like road trucks and then still have that image. Truck driving is divided into two classes, competing in two separate races. The premier super trucks for prototype vehicles with hardly any modifications and race trucks which are very similar to production vehicles.